Hello, this is Dimitri from Mackey and hello everybody at Gear Slots. And we're here at the Mackey stand at the uh, Music Mess in Frankfurt. And we have the brand new Mackey Access system here on display. So uh, the Mackey Access system contains of, uh, consists of three uh, components. We have the DL32 here, which is actually your mixer that you can put on on stage. 32 inputs, a total of 18 outputs. Uh, we have the Dante card built in and you connect then the control surface, the DC-16, through uh, Dante. So on this uh, DC-16 you can put up, up to three iPads on the so-called smart bridge. So this gives you a very good overview over all your uh, mixing features. But not only that, we also feature 26 little full-colored screens all over the mixer, right in the places where you need them. So the first very obvious thing is the visibility. You, you really see a lot of things at the same time, have everything under control, so that's one important thing when mixing. Uh, the second thing is that you can work very quickly with, uh, with the access system. So let's say uh, you have here your bass drum on the screen and I want to change the EQ. I just grab one of the EQ buttons here in the FED channel and I can change it right away. It's really quick. If I uh, grab the compressor button, it switches to the compressor window just like that. So you can work really, really fast. Uh, the third nice thing is I can customize how my iPads react. So I can put them in a fixed mode, like on this iPad on the right. I can say, okay, here I only want to see my uh, overview window. We only want to see certain channels. Or certain channels, uh, or just your effect channels, uh, whatever. Uh, this iPad here is showing your current status. And this iPad here right now is showing one step, uh, the, the step you did before. So this means you adjust your recuse of the bass drum right here. As soon as I start selecting another channel, let's say we go to the bass guitar, you will see this screen moving over to that screen. There it is. There it is. So now you have your bass guitar right there. Uh, but let's say you're adjusting your bass guitar and you notice, okay, there are some frequencies missing now from my bass drum. Okay, I'll just go to this screen and readjust the bass drum accordingly. So that's really great that you always have full control over everything at, at all times. A uh, very important feature that we have here is your view groups then. So the view groups let you group channels in a certain view, including subgroups, including VCAs, including your effect channels to have them on display here. So instead of using bank keys and looking and searching for your for the right channels, I just say, okay, show me all the guitar channels. Whoop, there it is. Automated faders too. Automated faders, so we feature uh, 100 millimeter, touch sensitive, uh, motorized Alps faders. So real good stuff here. Uh, if I want to look at the drums, I just change to the drums and I can even multi-select different view groups so let's say maybe you want to see the vocals at all times and then you just add any of the other instruments you like so in case you still want to choose uh, through the banks you can do that but the view groups are a much more efficient way uh, to work now uh, I love these little OLED screens oh yeah the little square ones because you're never unlike some other digital mixers you're never unsure of what's on what fader that's it. I've yeah. had the wrong fader before. So yeah, you know, yeah. We all have. And you don't need a tape anymore to put in any names uh, uh, for, for your channels, you know. So actually on a digital mixer you should never use a tape to write any things on it. And here you actually really don't need it. So you see right here on this little screens, I see everything the same as in the app that I use on the iPad. So the kick drum has this icon here, you can use different icons if you like, put in the names. And even this color coding appears on these little screens. And right now we're looking at the panning, but we can also look at our aux sense. So I can step through my aux sense on the screens here and just work as I would work on an analog mixing desk with the front of house mix here and the aux sense right there. Now, question, um, if you touch something on the iPad screen, it will go in the other direction and pop up? Yeah, pop sure. Control, so uh, if I go, if I go here on the fader of the kick drum, the fader moves with it. And also all the naming and so on, if you change the name on the iPad, it will change on the surface as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we can look at all kinds of diff different uh, informations here, high pass filters and so on. 
Um, then on the right side we see the controls for the I.O. So we have four ins and outs on the DC-16 for the front of house uh, technician, meaning we have a headphone output, we have a stereo uh, monitor output on the back, we have another stereo input if you want to play back music, and we have a talkback input right there. Nice. You can control your snapshots and your shows right here. And on the right side, that's where you see all the mixing layers. So we on the uh, DL32, on the access system, we are featuring 28 buses, and all these mixing buses can be seen right there. So and this means I can put the AUX1, for example, on faders. And this little LED here changes the color with it, so you always know in which mix layer you are. So if I change to AUX5, which is yellow, the LED becomes yellow. And the color coding goes even further. For example, the select buttons can also change the color according to the color you've decided to use for that channel. So you have always full visibility. And last but not least, we call this Smart Bridge because you can really work flawlessly between um, uh, wireless and hardware mixing. So for example, on this iPad, I could take the iPad out. It's, it's uh, just charging right now. And I can make any adjustments, walk on stage. And as soon as I put the iPad in, if you watch the screen here, it just reverts back to the state as it was in it before. It does not depend on whether the, the uh, lightning cable is plugged in or not. Right, exactly, yeah. It's just charging there. So you just can take it out, move around in the venue, make your adjustments. When you put it back into the smart bridge, it just goes back to the, to the page you had before. Yeah. So this is your complete modular Mackie Access digital mixing system. Um, how much will it cost? Uh, so in euros, we're looking at a price of just under 7,000 euros. One thing I, uh, I wanted to editorialize a bit about this is that, uh, you know, everyone wants a big color screen on their audio hardware now because our expectations have been set by uh, our iPhones and iPads and the consumer electronics industry. Uh, but why pay to embed a part that somebody else is already making? Just make it work with the iPad. And that concept was executed really well on the DL series, the DL1608 right. and so forth. And, and this really takes it to the next level. It's not an inexpensive piece of gear. This would be for a permanent install and someone who really wants to learn to use it. But once you do, I imagine you really fly on the thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well said. Dimitri, thanks so much for uh, giving us this look at the new Mackie Axis control surface for the DL32 mixer. Thanks. See ya.